Hi, Mary Boccaccio here. It's been a while since I made a video, I'm so excited to make one again. So, I wanted to show you a fast way of making a bolognese, which basically bolognese only means meat sauce. So, I have a half of an onion here, two cloves of garlic. I put the onion in my processor that I got today from my friend, so I just had to try it out. It's really not even worth the trouble. So I got one carrot. I'm going to put it in here and hope that it grates it. And one stalk of celery. I use the inner part of the celery, not the real tough on the outside. Now I'm going to hope that this, you know, grates it. But believe me, you can do it by hand. You know I do everything by hand, but I just wanted to try it. Whoops. to show you that it don't get any easier than that okay but i never put garlic in something like that no you don't want the garlic grated up like that so i'm going to take this off i'm going to take this out always take your blade out first you don't want to get caught so i'm going to take that out i'm going to put this in here <coughs> this in french is a miracle i told you that before in italian this is so frita it's the base for you know Italian like sauces but for, for the like tomato sauces so I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna move this I don't need it in my way excuse me one minute okay so for classic bolognese I told you before that you would use this sofrito also but we're just going to make this simple sauce just a little bit richer by putting in the sofrito and a little bit of tomato paste okay so Got my pan heating. There's no need to have it real hot. We're going to put, I thought I saw water in there. I didn't want to mix oil and water. I like some oil when I'm making. So if that's about, I'm going to say three tablespoons. People might disagree with me, but it is three tablespoons. I got it on high right now. I'm going to put this in. Uh, I'm going to lower it to a medium because you don't want to cook this high. You don't want to burn it. You want to sweat it. So sweating just means you're releasing the flavors from this. So I like to put a little salt and pepper on that. And then we're going to just let that cook for a second. Not a second. Just a couple minutes. We want to start to get a little color in that onion and in that garlic. So let's let that cook a minute. Then we'll go on. So you can see the vegetables started to melt down a little bit. And now I'm going to add, this is about a pound and a quarter of ground beef. So we're going to put this in. I'm just going to drop the whole thing in. Break it up. You can get the 85% uh, lean, you know. This is just like your ground beef. It's got a little fat in it, but that's what I like. You could do whatever you like. So now I'm going to raise this gas to high because you want to get a little color in there. So those uh, vegetables took me about three minutes, I'd say. And I had them, like I said, on medium. So now, of course, I always tell you, salt in layers. You want to flavor the layers. So I'm going to put that in. And we're going to let this cook. Probably about five minutes, and we'll be back. Okay. So, it probably took about five minutes to do this. Just want some color in it. So, this sauce is, if you were making a bolognese, planning to make a bolognese, you're going to go through these same steps, but it's going to take you a lot longer because you're going to let it sit for three hours. It's going to have a lot more meat. You're going to have, you know... A lot more tomatoes. Oh, sorry, I made that noise. I put about a teaspoon of tomato paste just because I just want to make it. Sorry, I just got the word from Maria that was a bad thing. <laughs> I don't agree, but okay. So you just want to put that in because putting the tomato sauce in in the beginning it brings out the sweetness. So this is one of the re now I did that on high. Just want to let you know I did that on high. So now I'm going to just lower it a little bit. And these are 14 ounce cans of cherry tomatoes. They're imported from Italy. I get them from Claudio's here at the Italian market. But I have seen them in 
uh, ShopRite and different stores have them, but I just love Claudia. It's the best cheese store around here, that's my opinion. So here we go, we're gonna put in two of these. So two of these cherry tomatoes are actually, they're 14 ounces each, so if you don't like the cherries, use a can of tomatoes because that's 28 ounces also. You could even use the 35 ounce can if you wanted to. So we're gonna mix that in. This is one of the reasons why it's so fast because the cherry tomatoes are so sweet. You're gonna get so much flavor out of them. You don't need to cook them for a long time. But what I always do, I like to rinse the can. Just a little rinse. A little rinse. Add out. What my mother did all my life, that's what I did. Put that in. Now you're going to have plenty here for, you can do probably a pound and a half with this amount of sauce. You know, because like I always tell you, you don't want pasta to be dripping with sauce unless you're a real sauce lover. Like my friend Anthony, whenever I'll make pasta for him, like when he would come in the restaurant, it would be like, give me extra sauce. I'll give you extra sauce because that's what you want, but that's not how I serve it. So you can see how nice they are. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper for the tomatoes. And I'm gonna use some parsley. I don't have any more fresh parsley, so I'm gonna use dried, which I love anyway. So that's about three tablespoons, maybe two. So I have that on high just until it boils. Then I'm gonna lower it to medium. And some of these cherries are gonna to start to break down. If you want them broken down more, no problem, they're so easy. They're tender, you just hit it with the spoon. See, look at that. They break right down, right down. They are so incredibly delicious, these tomatoes. So now, I'm gonna cook this for about 20 minutes. So this literally is a 30 minute bolognese. It's good for summer because it's not real heavy, it's a little lighter. And another thing you can do, you can use fresh cherry tomatoes. Just chop them up and add a little water to it, make a little sauce with that. Make it more springy, more summery. I just love these canned ones. So we're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back. So this cooked for about 20 minutes, okay? So now we're talking that this sauce took me with prep and everything, maybe 10 minutes for the prep. And we're talking a total of like 40 minutes. Where a bolognese, you're gonna have to sit all day and wait and wait and you let it cook and cook. This is just like an easy, easier dish, and you can see it's finished now. And look at how beautiful that looks. Just, just look at this sauce. It's an alternative to marinara. Think of it as a marinara with meat, because I know there's a lot of people out there, I'm, I'm one of them too, I don't really go for marinara. I don't like it. So I, I'd rather have something substantial like this. I'd rather have some meat in it. So my mother always made a ground beef gravy, always. So she didn't cook it for hours. The only thing difference is my mother only used garlic. She didn't put, you know, the onion and the carrot and the celery. I mean, that's something that actually came later on in my life from classical training and all. So I just wanted to show you it finished and we're gonna come back and show you it plated. Before I get ready to plate, I wanted to mention Everybody knows my little sous chef, Louis. <laughs> he waits in here while I make the video. Say hi, Louie. Say hi, Lou. He just loves to be in the kitchen. If you're in the kitchen, he's in the kitchen. So I made a plate, I wanted to show you. And just a little bit of sauce. You really don't want a lot of sauce. Sauce is meant to coat the pasta. Trust me. So I'm gonna put a little bit one more spoon on top. If you wanted to, you could have fresh parsley, but I'm gonna add some cheese. This is Pecorino Romano. It is the choice in my house. So, I hope you liked this video. I'm so happy to be back making them. And I want everybody to stay safe. And we're, we're starting to get there, I think. I think we're starting to get there. So this is a nice, fast recipe if you feel safe. Certain group of friends, you have them out in the yard if it's nice. Hope you enjoy this recipe. If you do, please share it. If you like it, please let me know. Send me photos. 
Tschüss.